Yo, what is going on, my husband knows and waifus? My name is Hermzar. Welcome to another live reaction review of Don Machi. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. Now, there's not much I could say in terms of the recap. Pretty much, Bell rejects Hestia for, for the sexy time. You idiot! And then Hestia gets kidnapped by Ares, right? There was Ares or something. Um, so Ice and Bell are on their way to save Hestia, who is the bestia. But isn't Ares like trash? Like, like he's weak as fuck, like his army. Oh, there you go. Bell, Bell got Hestia back. The mayor's house in a mountain village. <laughs> Walden, what's it? Wait, why did his demeanor change as, as soon as he saw Hestia? Well, his demeanor completely changed. Song of love, goddess and child. Oh, are they going to Kimochi? Ooh. Ooh, Bell's like, oh my god, her ear. Wait, did he used to be part of Hestia? Wait, what was that emblem? Is that Hestia's emblem? I don't remember. A festival, huh? That sounds pretty cool. I always wanted to go to a good festival. All the festivals here suck. <laughs> Why is she dressed like that? Yeah, big facts, dude. Ice is really pretty. Now, Belle is like, dude, Ice is like the prettiest girl. Wallen, what's it? Scale from the Black Dragon. Oh, the dragon that they're supposed to defeat, right? Most monsters are too scared of the black dragon scales to come any closer. I mean, shit, it's a really strong dragon. It's kind of like in, um, it's kind of like leftover DNA in a scent of, of magic to scare off everyone else. Now there's, there's the moral conflict. The dragon is what protects this village. If Bell is destined to defeat this black dragon, no one's going to protect this village unless he takes it upon himself to protect it. She's angry. It's the first time I've seen her show an emotion besides dead inside. I bet you it's what killed her family. Ishtar? Also, oh, they had a, a relationship with each other, but she ended up dying. Oh, fuck. Dude, his goddess is kind of cute, but shit. GG. I mean, I would have a hard time, too. Words of a wise man. Take care of your goddess. Especially since Hestia really does care about him. Another episode about live without regrets. <laughs> She plotting. <laughs> what do you think of my Belcoon? He's a rabbit. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> He's a rabbit. That's all you think of Bell. Oh God, poor Bell. <laughs> he just got animal zoned. Dude, those festivals look really tight. Like fucking. <laughs> She's looking at Bell. It says he's a harvest goddess. Oh, there you go. Yes, urgent forward. Urgent forward to the best girl! Aw, oh, what a feel-good episode, man. So he does revere her so much. Aw, oh, she's perfect, man. Uh-oh. Is he is he in his dying bed now? Oh shit. It's so sad because like we just met the guy, right? <laughs> we just met the guy this episode. And his impact in Belle's life is already so big. It's so major. And um even even for us, like I'm I'm feeling the, the sadness. Oh fuck. Ow! <laughs> My feelings. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ow! Oh shit, that fucking hurt. You know how you know an anime is well written? When you feel shit like that. <laughs> when, when like, you, we just met the guy a couple minutes ago! Fuck! Just his story had so much impact. Dude, Hestia is so cute. I want Hestia to look. I want Hestia to take me under her familia. So Belle's finally going to open up to her. Oh, she's such a good girl, dude. She's the best girl. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Did she just win best girl award? Oh, oh she, she has solidified herself. She has solidified. She, I mean, she solidified herself a long ass time ago. Season one. But this just reaffirms why she is the fucking best girl. Oh, poor Belle, dude. Wow, this episode fucking hit. It hit. <laughs> they got Ares. What a loser. <laughs> Makoto seems like the most, like, level-headed one in the Hestia Familia. This is the end of season, season two, isn't it? This is the end of season two, isn't it? They're in a cave, okay. 
What the heck? Huh? Nani? Okay, so it's, it is going to be 12 episodes. I had to I had to double check. So that was the last episode. Aw, oh, man. But then season three was just recently confirmed for Don Machi. So it, it, it's going to be all good. Oh, my God. All right, let's talk about this. So Don Machi overall was like a really good fieldy, a feel good anime in my opinion. This season was probably, even though I was unsure if I was going to be able to cover it, I'm glad I did. An emotional field trip, if I do say so myself, from the Apollo Familia fight, which I thought was phenomenal, and then the Ishtar fight, oh Ishtar! And then now we have the conclusion of, you know, Bell and Hestia just talking things out. I was reading some comments saying that they're disappointed that Bell still resists Hestia. But you, you, you kind of have to, like, understand. I mean, like, yeah, even though I'm pretty like, damn, dude, if Hestia was in front of me offering her love to me, I would accept. 100%. But there are some times where you meet a person in your life and you just love them so much that you just don't want to be with them. It's kind of like, in Bell's sense, it's kind of like he doesn't want to be with her because he knows how it feels to be alone. And even though Hester says she's going to find him, even if it takes thousands and thousands of years, Bell just is a is afraid that you know he's gonna leave her alone once he dies because he becomes he he dies first and i'm pretty sure it's going to hurt him as he's older knowing that he's leaving her behind not only is he like supposedly protecting hestia he's protecting himself at the same time if we put it in a sense for us how we could view it in our in our way is like sometimes you don't want to be with someone because we're afraid to ruin our relationship that we have with each other like let's say there's a there's a person that you really like and that person is your friend you want to be with them in an emotional way but you decide not to because even if the feelings are mutual it does happen that you guys end up together and things go wrong the friendship is over but so, so sometimes it's just best to keep it from a, uh just keep things the way they are and and just cherish the the feelings that you have for each other and just leave it at that but overall i thought this episode uh, was really good it, it definitely brought some feels especially when it came to karm san just dying dude like bro we just met this character this episode and we're already sad that he's passing that's how good i felt like this writing was for this episode especially since karm had some really good really good advice for bell because it was important for him to hear it and who would have thought bridget and hestia were best friends in heaven i wonder if there's a little bit more in the light novel for this i feel like i should read the light novel either way season three has been confirmed and i'm very excited about that that should have been the last episode of Don Machi. Overall, really good episode. I can't wait. It's probably 2020 when season three is going to drop. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.